Hey everybody, welcome to the 14th episode of the Stellaris Mod Spotlight series. This episode is going to be a little bit different than a normal episode. I've had a bunch of people post comments and send me messages asking me to discuss how to install mods and check for mod conflicts. So this week's video will be an in-depth tutorial on how to install mods, how to uninstall mods, and how to make sure the mods you do install are compatible with others. Okay, here we go. Boop. Let's start by going over how to install mods. First thing you have to do is find the mod you want to install. There's a few different ways you can do this. My recommendation of course is for you to hit the subscribe button below this video and let me do the heavy lifting for you. I'll bring you a list of the best mods for Stellaris each week and you can get the links to each one of those mods in the video description. But if you need more than that, you can browse the Stellaris mods all on your own. To do so, open up Steam and go to your library. Select Stellaris and scroll down on the right. Your Steam library may look like this, or this. Change your view by clicking this button and you'll see a lot of details for each game. Now that you've got the correct view, scroll down on the right and find the Steam Workshop icon. Click Browse the Workshop and you'll go to the Stellaris section of the Steam Workshop. By default, you'll always see the most popular mods for the last week at the top. Just below, you can see the most subscribed and the most recent mods. If you're looking for a specific type of mod, like a total conversion, you can sort them using the list on the right. You can also search for a specific mod by using the search box up here. Okay, let's say you find a mod you really want. Once you're at the page for it, you simply click the green subscribe button. The mod should begin downloading and you can see the progress of the install down at the bottom. Once the mod is downloaded, there's still a little bit of work to do. Return to your library and double click Stellaris to run the game. This will open the launcher. Once the launcher is open, find the Mods tab and click on it to see any mod you have installed. The mod you just downloaded may not appear. If it doesn't, close the launcher and relaunch it through Steam. Check the Mod tab again and the mod should appear. Clicking the mod in this list will highlight it and the mod should now be active when you run the game. If you see a red exclamation mark next to the mod, it means the mod is out of date. Don't panic though, that doesn't mean your mod can't be used. Many, many mods that are outdated still run perfectly well with the current version of Stellaris. There's no way to know for sure if an outdated mod will work, so you just have to try it out and see. Uninstalling mods works almost the same way as installing them. Navigate back to the Stellaris Steam Workshop, and on the right, you'll see your Steam icon and a small drop-down box. Click that and select Subscribed Items. Here you'll see a list of every Stellaris mod you have installed. From here, it's very easy to find the mod you want to uninstall and click Unsubscribe. This will start another download which removes the mod from your system. Here's an important note. If you do uninstall a mod you're currently using in a Stellaris game, trying to load a save from that campaign without the mod installed will probably break it in some way and may cause the save to crash outright anytime you try to load it. Only uninstall mods if you don't care about any campaigns you were playing using that mod. Now that you've installed some awesome mods, let's talk about how to find mod conflicts and how to deal with them. Unfortunately, there's no way to tell 100% if mods will be compatible with each other. One day we may get a mod manager that organizes and compares mods to make sure conflicts don't happen like Nexus Mod Manager or Kerbal Space Program's CCAN, but for now, I recommend a three-step process for determining if mods will conflict with one another. Step one, compare your mods. Now this may seem like common sense, but really it's your first line of defense against installing conflicting mods. For instance, if you try to install two total conversion mods, they're probably going to conflict, as they both change major parts of the game. Or, trying to install two balance mods that affect the damage of corvettes will probably conflict. In my experience, if a mod changes part of the existing game, like balance, governments, or traits, you need to be especially careful of conflicts. But if a mod adds things, like races, portraits, governments, and new buildings, you should be safe. 
And that leads me to step two, check the mod descriptions. Many mod authors will explicitly call out the files that their mod alters, and you can use this as a guideline when checking for compatibility. In this example, the author states that this mod is not achievement compatible, meaning you can't earn achievements while playing with this mod, and that the mod alters a file called eventwindow.gui and wardemandtypes.txt. Any other mods that alter these specific files will have conflicts with this mod and may break one or both of them. Which brings me to the final step. If you're not sure if two mods are going to have conflicts, simply run the game with them both and see what happens. If the game crashes or a specific feature from the new mod isn't working properly, you probably have a conflict and you need to decide which mod you want to use. Right now, there's no way to know 100% if two mods will be compatible, so getting the perfect mod setup will require some effort on your part, but the end result is completely worth it. And that's all you need to know when it comes to installing and uninstalling mods, as well as dealing with mod conflicts. If you've got some tips or tricks for finding and dealing with conflicts, please let me know in the comments down below. I definitely don't know everything there is to know about modding Stellaris, so I still have a lot to learn. Also, don't be too worried about mod conflicts when looking for mods to play with. I've downloaded and tested dozens and dozens of mods, and I haven't encountered that many conflicts, so chances are you won't either. Thanks for watching this tutorial. If it was useful for you, please consider hitting that like button down below. It helps me out a ton, and it will help other people find this video tutorial. Make sure you check back next week for a regular Stellaris Mod Spotlight, where I'll showcase several of the best, highest rated, most downloaded mods for the game. Thank you guys so much for joining me, and I will see you next time.